Oh my god. What on earth is this? You crack on, mate. Man. That's one. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Fanatec GT3 fixed race at Sabring. Uh, we're just on the formation lap, actually. Already to madness. It's going to be a 20 minute sprint. That is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> 20 minute sprint in fixed setup cars. I'm in the Ferrari. We're starting right at the back. Um, so what I'll do is I'll join you as we're on the back straight for the last corner about to start the race. It's going to be a pretty intense one. And uh, I really hope you enjoy it. Do make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you do. But it should, should be a cracking race. If it's on YouTube, it probably is. There we go. Must be it. That must be it. Yeah. I foresee an accident. Dive up the inside there. Come on. Nice, we're a bit optimistic. Side to side contact, but I think it was okay. And uh, <laughs> we started basically last, we're up to P8. Explain that. This is a good field, I think, as well. I think um, plus 2k I rating field, so for me, that's a good. Um, these are the drives I should be racing against. The best line had to lift. Really bad line, had to go down to first. See the temps and tyres really come up now. They were 50. Front left to right now there, come up 70. See ya. Audi's gonna Audi. That's the that's the Audi tax as I call it. I think it's a faster car, but you've got to pay that tax. On that grippy line. Come on. Not the best, but as far as first laps go, I'll 100% take that. Now we need to try and move on. This guy behind looks in the mood. He obviously lost a lot of positions. car is like a pendulum in there just doesn't want to do what you want to do <laughs> all fixed setups here so no one's got any setup goodness just the uh, BAP Again, a bit sketchy through there. I need to really try and catch up. He's a bit on the knife edge at the moment. Try and open this corner up as much as possible. Whee! I gambled and kept my foot pin there. Right, Juan Serrano in this race, nice. Got the faith there to go a little bit deeper. Well, it's not a bad position to be because there's a gap to Kevin behind. 
he might come under pressure. Wow, P4 with a two-minute lap. That is insane. Let's hit the wall ahead. Might have suspension damage. Really might have damage from that. Take a late apex hit. Well, that's a little bit fortunate for us. Again, see if we can catch up Ricardo. P4 is on the move, so he might be causing a bit of chaos in that pack. Tires a bit more temperature now, it's a bit easier. 90 degrees. Likewise. Still playing with fire a little bit, but we'll take it. Track limits mean absolutely nothing at that corner. <laughs> there is a track limit there lying somewhere. I've been past it, but it's hard to know where it is. Right, Ricardo's 2.4 ahead. Be committed through here, go really deep. That's the sort of corner that in real life, you wouldn't just be able to break deep. You'd have that human reaction of, I need to break, I need to break. It's a bit like some of the very fast karting corners. Right, made another position there. Lambo tax. Apex marker says on the up and wide. Apex uh, marker is the cone on the wall. Wonderful to start using first there. I'm a kind, of, I'm a sort of driver who's very comfortable using first to get that extra bit of rotation and managing the, the wheel spin on the throttle. As opposed to second where you need to kind of be really good with your angles and um, you can dump the, the uh, throttle when you get on the... when you get past the apex. I don't know if you saw there, when I went down to first, I went a bit too deep, went down to first and just got that rotation that I needed, but I sacrificed a bit of traction and exit. Such a tricky corner, that. Right, 5.1 to that car ahead, but I don't, I don't think he's the fastest driver in the world. I think we can bring that down. And the guy ahead behind me, he's obviously very quick, but he had that moment. I'm not sure how much damage he's taking. Not the best. I should be able to do that, keeping in third and get on the power much earlier. Interesting, he's kept the gap to the guy ahead at same speed so he's not great through there either it's a bit better those two times but the last lap really wasn't great again Gap has stayed the same. I think I lost some time through turn one. Just like P5 is catching P4, which is interesting. And um, P7 behind me is bringing someone with him.
keep it in second that time. Yeah, so much more grip now from the tyres in the early laps. Pushing that one a bit too hard. Some cones off there. Yeah, I lost half a second. It's only, only 10 minutes to go. These races are just intense. And uh, two cars behind in the gap. To Mr. Serrano. Cut wide. Power out, power out. Come on. So we're feathering the throttle, we'll still haven't quite worked that out. Yeah, they're not great lines for turn one in the last corner, to be honest. If you're screaming at your TV or phone now, then I'm going to try and do my best to sort them out. Don't know what to do here. I feel like I probably shouldn't fight this too much. I think it might be a four-way battle. Let's have a look. Bit awkward, so I'm going to turn in. Just going to play a bit of a long game here. Just a bit of a long game. Because I don't think I was going to get away from these two drivers. So, what I can do is if I'm in the mix on the last lap, try go Banzai and back my overtaking skills get the same position and potentially they can bridge us to P5 potentially although we've all lost time shuffling that about so let me know in the comments what you thought about that strategy that's a good strategy bad strategy obviously I don't know yet fingers crossed can learn a bit through last corner as well so the gap now between p7 and p sorry yeah p6 and p5 is uh, eight seconds let's see how that develops go a bit deep here now power now power now power now power yes it's a line like that All right hope that gap comes down but they're fighting okay might still be benefits for us we're gonna go side by side here on the outside we'll take that back and he's lost time and he's not happy about that on the radio so again what do you think in the comments oh it's just damn good racing it's gone very deep here the ferrari that gap has gone up 9.6 that's going to be very difficult we need them to make a mistake really then again, I don't. I don't think, in the terms of positions, I've really lost much. I've given up one, which I can always try and get back. And it's a hell mary that we might get more. I, I say right now, the hell mary is not working out. <laughs> Seems to be working pretty well here as a unit though, dropping Kevin. Right, 9.8 is that gap. It's only about really three laps to go if I'm honest. Again, let's go deep. 
slow on the mid part and then power drop the hammer different lines but I quite like that line yeah that gap is right not going to come down again down to timing if we start fighting now we'll let Kevin back in and Kevin's got a point to prove so you know maybe we just push 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 and we make an absolute scrap on the last lap when we've got white flag subject to any opportunities that might arise before then pretty close between p between p4 and 5 i think p5 has been catching p4 so that might be interesting to watch out for okay, i think we're a bit better through there than the go ahead gap to p8 behind is gradually increasing tempted to go for it here you know tempted just show my nose see that little manoeuvre has cost us time to Kevin basically given the hurry up maybe pressure into a mistake just showing that I'm around and I mean business Very different lines through there. I think it's going to be three laps to go. It's my hunch. Come out a bit wider, slower here, and then pin it. Right, it's one point two to Kevin behind. I'm going to go for it now. hammer down now he's going to get the benefit of slip especially down that back straight but he wasn't great into this hairpin so I wanted to get it done before you see there that gap is increasing I think we identify we were a little bit better than him in that corner using that intel and again here can we try and break away a little bit Qualifying laps now. Struggled with this corner today. Lost time, lost time, lost time. It's a big error. Right, so we kept it at 0.7 chat, but oh, I don't know how you think this race is going to end. It's very close for P2. It's very, very close for P2 ahead. Could be fireworks there. Get to this white line. A bit deeper than I wanted, but time on the exit. White flag, white flag, white flag. Okay. Could be fireworks ahead. They're very close. All the cars ahead up to PT are very close. Let's see if we keep this guy behind. Close to the walls we dare. And power. Our apex here, ideally. And likewise, late apex. Oh, there's three cars coming, chap. There's three cars in a row. I think Christopher set a very quick time, but that battle for P3 is within the tenth. Danger of making contact with that close. Just trying to go deep in the brakes there, not lock up. Oh, and someone's died behind. I think 
maybe a Kevin dived it and he's lost lost a position. There's someone ahead is dropping positions. P4 has dropped positions. There he is! There he is! Oh, big drama. Big drama, big drama, big drama, big drama. Oh, I just cleared him. This guy got damage. He must have damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just got to take a miracle here, but let's see what we can do. It's as much as I dare with the unknowable track limits. And I think, I think it's going to be a P5. I don't think we're going to catch this guy. But uh, it's incredible to think, really, if we just gained two seconds over the course of the race, we'd be in the battle for P4. But I'll take a P5. What a race. Just one last corner to negotiate. One that we never, we, we lost two seconds in this corner during the race. I can tell you that for free. It's going to be a P5. P5. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Wow, well, I really hope you enjoyed that. Do make sure to like, subscribe if you want to see more. I do eye racing on this channel, live streaming every weekend VRS Endurance and also racing the week. But that was very, very enjoyable. Let's have a look what happens, should we, chat? I keep saying chat even though I'm not live. It's just an instinct. Let's see what's, uh, what's gone on here. Let's go on board with me, maybe not in pit lane. I got this. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> right, what's happened to old artists here? Right. Here we go. Let's play this forward. So this is th three and four, I think. I don't know. Or four and five. Oh, he's just... Oh, the Audi's gone a bit early on the brakes, possibly. Beamer's gone very deep. And t to be fair to him, he's really kept his composure. He's not spinning the wheels up. He's just taking it calm. Doing exactly the right thing. Uh, and the Audi, meanwhile, who will not be happy about this. Oh my word. Let's have a look at this drama. Right, it just it just just layers to this, aren't there? Right, here's the Ferrari. Oh my word, oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like this livery, by the way. Really cool livery. I really like the yellow and black here. Is, that is a really nice livery. I like that. I'm going to save that one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Great racing. I'll take the P5. Here we go. Even though we started P19. So we're up four positions. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.